Hey YouTube, I wanted to come at you today with a review of a new bag that I just purchased yesterday. Had it overnighted from the Louis Vuitton website. And I'm going to do kind of a comparison and a reveal as well. So let's get started. Here is our Louis Vuitton brown box that everything comes in. Lovely yellow Louis Vuitton dust bag. The bag, ta-da, is the brand new, redesigned, 2015 version Estrella NM. It is in the monogram and the Nior, which is black. This is a beautiful handbag. I was so excited to get it. There was one YouTube review on it that helped me make my decision a lot. And then the lovely ladies on Purse Forum that have been posting theirs. It was a hard decision on what bag I wanted to buy, and this is the one I went with. It was a little pricey, but I think that um, it's going to be well worth the money. It's going to be an everyday bag. It is a larger bag. Um, it's 18 inches across, and I do believe 11 inches length. Um, no worries about rain or you know funny weather with this because there is no vachetta on it. It comes with a little crochet which will open the lock. has beautiful brass hardware. This bag is lightweight, it's not heavy at all. So I think that that is a huge plus. My artsy is extremely heavy, which I'm gonna kind of do a comparison in a minute after I show you, you know, the features of this bag and show you the size comparison. This is, I would say, um, similar to a larger version of a Palos and similar to maybe a totally MM but much more luxurious and extremely soft. The leather smells awesome. I love Louis Vuitton leather, it's great. Anyway, I'm gonna show you up close features of the bag. It has these beautiful rivets on each side of both straps. The bag does have four feet with the black pads at the bottom. The stitching is impeccable. You have the lock and the double zipper, both engraved with Louis Vuitton, as well as the lock. The bag is just stunning. I'm going to show you the interior, and then I'm going to do a comparison video of how you can carry it. So inside is my receipts, which if you are considering buying this bag, you know how much it costs. It's, like I said, a little pricey. I think it's even worth it. Um, the care booklet. It's the little case for the little dust bag for the lock. Here's the shoulder strap. It's not super thick, but it's extremely sturdy in the leather. Um, the black leather, like the trim on the bag, it has have five settings. I think at the longest setting, you would be able to carry this bag crossbody. Um, I don't like my bags hanging that low, and I don't like crossbody, so I probably will wear it, you know, on the, the highest setting at all times. Inside the bag is a beautiful black microfiber lining. It is just to die for, super soft. My bag was made in the USA, and it is here on this little leather tab. And I heard that this bag, when it first came out, was high in demand, so everyone, um, they started having to produce them in the USA because of the demand for the bag. So I'm going to connect the shoulder straps to the bag for you. I'm just going to show you a couple of ways you can wear it. And then I'm going to show you a comparison to my artsy. This is, a, like I said, a very pretty large bag. I think it'll fit a lot. It'll be perfect for everyday use. You could take it out at night if you wanted. It is very classy. So I'm just going to kind of show you this real quick. So you could wear it handheld. You could wear it in the crook of your arm. This is how I will probably wear it most of the time. But here is your shoulder strap on the highest setting. So it's, I don't want it hanging really long on me. It's kind of a back view. Side view. You could wear it crossbody even at the highest setting, but like I said, I'm not a crossbody type gal, so I probably will not wear my bag like that. 
Now I'm just going to do a real quick comparison to my Artsy MM. They are two totally different bags. One is a hobo, one is a tote bag. But um, an Artsy is a little bit bigger. However, I do believe that um, there is some kind of a size comparison. There they are side by side in front. This bag opens just as wide, if not wider, than the Artsy does. The only downfall to this bag is it doesn't have an interior zipped pocket, but with the top zipper, you don't need it. It has two of the BB pockets and a large side pocket as well. So plenty of room, but no interior zipped closure, top zip closure. Anyway, here are the two bags side to side. And, you know, this one is a little bit smaller than the RC, but just not much. I mean, you have a pretty good size comparison. The RC is wider here, but like I said, the mouth opens just as much. And height wise, there's only about an inch different, maybe, maybe two inches at the most different in the height from here to here. So I'm going to stuff the bag now and put the RC away. She actually has been sold, so I've got to put her in the mouth. But we are going to fill my bag. Have my amethyst Bernay um, cosmetic pouch. Kind of stick that in there. Have my mini pochette, which I attach to my D ring, and I keep money in it so that way if I want to go to the store or something, I don't want to take my bag. I can just disconnect the little mini pochette and take it with. Have my cosmetic larger pochette, which um, I keep my medications and my toiletries and things in there. My insult wallet, which is a pretty large wallet, so it will not, it does fit there. I guess you could put it in the side pocket, and I'm gonna maybe do that for now. I have my Damier Edine Agenda PM which it's pretty fat and full. I'm just gonna kind of stick that down to the side. And I have my Louis Vuitton sunglass case. This is the bulkiest case ever. I mean, it's huge. So it takes up a lot of room in the bag. I'm going to connect my, my, my clay. I use it inside my bag to the D-ring. What you could do though, which I think the lady in the other video showed that it could be used as a bag charm. I use regular bag charms, so I, since I use this as a coin purse, I really probably don't want it connected to the outside of my bag. But you could actually use it as a bag charm, and it looks very pretty. I mean, it's just, you know, a pretty, pretty cute idea. I just don't really like that for myself, personally. I'm a bag charm girl. So I'm going to put my clay on the D-ring next to the pochette inside my bag. Now it's pretty stuffed and I don't have much more to put in it. Um, this is just like my earbud to my wireless headset for my phone. I'm going to switch my push out around because it drives me crazy that this little thing is hanging out. So it actually is stuffed probably close to its capacity. If I wanted to fit a my iPad in it, which I'm recording with my iPad so I can't show you, but if I wanted to slide my iPad in the back, there is probably room, but it would be super heavy and super stuffed if you were to do that. I'm not sure that I would, um, you know, push it to that capacity. Even if I try to put my agenda there, it works out. So you could do that as well. And then I have my six key holder. So I'm just going to kind of slide maybe in one of the side pockets, actually. And we'll put this down there. So I'm going to close it and show you what it's like stuffed. I, I do have a con about this bag already. What I noticed is that with the weight, because I carry all these things in my purse daily, and with the weight, when you grab this by the shoulder strap with all those things in it, this is pulled in. So I'm not sure if that's gonna cause the bag to crack later. I sure hope not as much as it costs. But the weight definitely has got this moving um, in a different kind of direction that I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that or if it's going to 
cause the bag to crack or anything, but I do know this bag is obviously not meant to stuff it as full as I just did, but I know a lot of ladies probably have the same sort of things in their bag. I do think that it'll still look fine on, but it is going to be a pet peeve for that to be like that. So, I mean, that's the only con I have so far. Other than that, the bag is stunning. I highly recommend it if you're looking for a newer bag, 2015 version. I have a delightful one. I have a Portobello, both of which I love dearly. So this is going to be kind of different for me. I've never, I did have a PLOS um, a long time ago and I didn't like it because it was too small. This is definitely much larger than that and a beautiful bag. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and feel free to um, subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys. Have a great day.